Hey, what's going on? It's Axicus, your friendly neighborhood casual gaming dad, and kind of between games right now, and I've had this one sitting in my library for a while. Was a huge fan of SMB3, played quite a few hours there on my Switch, and thought I'd give this a go for a little while. Super Mega Baseball 4. Now, the way I've always played, and what I'm going to do here in a series of episodes, is play a franchise. And what I like to do with the franchise is using this Super Mega League. Um, setting my season up in a way here where we have either 32 or 48 games. Let's go 32. And uh, I only like to play six innings. Subset of nine. Um, that's fine. Now playoff teams, I think eight out of 20 are good there. As we'll see, I'm going to simulate my games and only play the playoffs if I make it to the playoffs. So I do want to increase my chances of actually playing. And I'm still sort of figuring out the mechanics of all of the new features in SMB4, especially with uh, chemistry and traits. But um, we'll see how that goes. I'll increase my chances of playoffs and we'll make it a best of three. And most importantly, we're going to start with the shuffle draft. This is going to put all of the players in this league into a pool and will give us a chance to select. Now, in terms of the team, it was on the moose. And, you know, just based on where I'm from, where I live, I think that's probably what I'll stick with just for the logo. Also, I think historically the moose have had a pretty awesome roster to begin with. So here we go. The shuffle draft has begun and we get to choose from one of eight players here so like right off the bat an s tier shortstop super utility two uh traits i mean that guy looks pretty good this one also has two traits a little cheaper also up the middle of the field center fielder outfielder What else do we got? More two trade people. A left fielder. Don't like that power and contact. Hmm. Okay. I think we gotta go either one of these two. Handley Dexterez. Or Jackie Slam. want a better arm on a center fielder so I'm going to go Hanley Dexteris he's going to be who I build the team around first pick did I lock it in alright yeah we'll skip all of them um okay here we go we got an awesome first baseman there which exactly how you want those stats to be lined up for a first baseman maybe a little more power on there ah <sighs> and then we've got a really nice set of traits there or we've got mario mustachio <laughs> um Disciplined with two stats. The green and yellow stats I find are the the traits, I should say. The green and yellow traits I found to be the most helpful, the ones you want to really stack. So this guy's looking like a great choice. I don't think anyone's shaping up. I think I think we want Medio Mustachio. Okay, third pick. 
Probably going to need a pitcher at some point. of the chemistry I'm probably going to try to stack one color but then at least have all of the other ones to a level one I'm going to go for a, a balance here to start out and as you're going to see I'm going to simulate most of my games try to build up some player development funds and uh, see what we can do in these playoffs that said don't think I'm going to go 12 million for a reliever right now. I go big salary on a starter. But since we don't have that, hmm, catcher first base. No, not the not great catcher stats. This guy's looking all right there, but, hmm, right fielder. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, when you get a trait that's the same as your chemistry, usually pretty good to stack. Although, competitive or that orange chemistry is probably not the one I would stack. Okay, Elroy Axion. Now he's Sirloin Jones. An oldie but a goodie closer. B starting pitcher. Maybe not a bad idea. But Danny Deals. Ooh, a K collector. Amazing stat. Orange trait. This one, I think I need to add Danny Deals. Okay, I'm projecting for a very high payroll now, but that's okay. I'm going to fill this roster up just fine. Double, double trait, couple double traits. Ooh, this is hybrid. Oh, I really like that. I really like that. But at this point in the draft, compared to everything else that's out there, yeah, I think it's a nice pick for me. Salary, everything included. Do have to start adding a crafty and scholarly players here but buzz past him welcome to the team okie dokie okay another starter here is I'm looking for a scholarly player right now so he might be in the hunt another hybrid crafty which I also need with a crafty trait hmm I don't know if I want to go two hybrids though Not a bad backup catcher right there, Tugboat Thomas. But I don't think that's the guy I want. I think we either build some nice rotation here. Yeah. 
Picture 2, Stooby 2 Brick. Welcome to the Moose. Pick 7, Joseph Brosev, Relief Pitcher. Okay, Crafty. Possibly. Ooh, that's one of the best traits in the game. Bad ball hitter. Not a high power player, but could use scholarly. She has a backup position, third base. Might be able to deal with not having the power there. Fielding his arm in line with the second baseman. That's a good choice there. Might need to be looking in this four or five million. So here's a left field outfielder that's primarily defensive. Benny Bomber is be the crafty player I'm looking for. I already got a, a right fielder. Okay, so we go Benny Bomber left field, save a bit of dough. Ooh. Kind of interesting looking center fielder. We want a little bit of budget. Two traits, but look at the contact. Not taking butterfingers on an infielder. Yeah, so Kitty Kaufman, Joseph Brosif, Benny Bomber. I think we're still built. I think we're gonna take a the best reliever we can find right now. That one was a tough choice for me. All right. Um. So we're rounding out the bullpen, rounding out the rotation, and possibly like, need a nice center fielder. as well. Ooh. Poor arm for a catcher there. Okay, this could be our center fielder or catcher. Bad arm for a center fielder. Catcher's younger. I'm going to go with catcher. She might always work out to be a backup. Okay, pick nine. Really looking for center fielder. Super Sampson on the board. Incredibly defensive center fielder. Barely any power or contact. Not sure that's the team I'm trying to build. We got a rounding out the rotation reliever. Not a bad option for second base. I really just don't want to take any negative traits. I think we're going to go with the second base. This may be paying a little much for... bring a trait. Okay. Hmm. Still 
looking for center fielder here. No. First base. A relief pitcher. Young left fielder. Crafty and brings a trait. We're going to go with the starter, build a strong rotation. I think that can't go wrong in Sims. Yeah, right. I'm sure we'll find a way for it to go wrong. Don't worry. Okay, here. Pick 11. We're almost halfway through this draft now. Really want a big-time center fielder. There's bad ball hitter. Would like a little more speed there, but... And this guy's old. So he won't matter much too long. Left field. Uh, probably right field backup catcher. Bring some defense. Hmm. Not a bad little backup catcher, but halfway through the draft, I'll fill these spots out. I think I want to go with Spirited Juan Rojas with the magic hands. What do we've got here? I'm rounding out the rotation. Let's see what we got here in the competitive landscape. First base, left field. It's pretty, pretty good first baseman layout. It's starting to look like Yeah, I want to try to balance these traits as much as I can, but any will do for now. Doug Neward. Sounding like this is the play right now. Everyone else. Doug Neward helps round out the rotation. Okay. changes those players over there uh, I want to like can you lock in someone view roster yeah yeah like 
Okay, Willard Wiggins. I don't think I need a shortstop second base. Let's go, left fielder. Okay, with pick 14 of the draft. You can tell the players are hmm. You'd probably like that. K collector closer, young for 3.7. would be building my team towards scholarly chemistry and traits. I think I'm going smack Avery here as a closer. looking ruby green there. Do need a first base. One more reliever. Need another crafty person. Busha Dingman contact sucks she would be what ended up on the bench I think where's Ruby she might play going oh, Ruby green here first base okay let's uh, view the old roster again so DH bench players right field left field yeah I didn't really take a center fielder yet center fielder DH another catcher infield field fielders round out the rotation and the pen okay so I would take a center fielder and a DH That's a good option there. Need a crafty player. Ricky Kwan? He's a crafty young one too. No power or contact. Maybe we go on Ricky Kwan. I like the cut of his jib, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, hopefully that power and contact will develop a little bit over time, but we need a crafty player as well, so. Okay, so, roster. Looks like we're filled. We got a catcher, first base, second base, third base, shortstop, left, center, right. We got a DH, who's a catcher. Need a backup catcher, some outfielders, infielders, anything. Anything's on the table. Let's just uh, basically take the best we can. So, what? Uh, also, what's happening with traits here? Probably want to build crafty, scholarly, maybe. 
few more competitive. I've got a pretty good balance here. I want to stay away from spirited. Chemistry's working out so great down there. Probably need some more. It's a nice first base catcher backup. basically looking for benches right now. This guy bring in Crafty with a yellow trait. First base catcher. Sounds like this bit, but this guy third base infielder. Also good. I like that actually. Take a little utility play. A few more picks here. Okay, I, I need an outfielder. There's a crafty outfielder. some competitive players for my last few picks not gonna not gonna happen so I need a starter and a reliever okay so we need to fill out the rotation we really need competitive people but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen I think we're going on elite screwball though with the last pick, we need a reliever. We needed competitive, but we didn't get it. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Let's see what we got. So what can we do on sign and release right now? Oh, there's still a bunch of free agents, so if I want to tinker a bit, I might be able to. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a couple catchers. We got an S tier player, and I've got some surplus, 27.5. It's good. The first number of seasons, I want to just build up those player development funds. So this isn't going to matter a whole lot. But, I mean, probably trading a spirited person for a crafty person right now and getting a few more competitive would probably be the right call. So spirited like that player can be 
anyone. Shortstop second base on the bench. Do probably want some more power. So trade this for a competitive backup infielder. Let's see what that looks like. Competitive big hack. Tarzan Woodburn. Not providing any more power. Doug out fives. Competitive pinch hitter. Not a great stat range for that salary. Biff Noggins. God, another high salary though. Where am I? Oh, Biff Noggins, a left fielder. So, basically in this range to the top of the page. Probably dug out fives. Dug out hives for. Who was that? Eduardo Electro? get rid of a spirited player. Damn, who was that? It was... Pretty sure it was Eduardo Electro. That this guy could have been anyone. Right, because... Fielder too. So let me go back. I gotta be sure. So this guy's a second base shortstop. It's a chemistry play. Second base shortstop. This is basically what this guy is. So I think that's a fair trade. Adding a bunch of salary, but... Okay. So, let's just check over my team right quick. Probably want... One more scholarly and one more competitive player. In exchange for spirited. Well, I guess... So, I want a scholarly player. Is this my team? No, oh, free agents. Okay, I want a scholarly player. And I want a competitive player. like a good option. Tarzan Woodburn again. Okay, there's a lot of options there to pull this off. Wait, now. Was I only looking at competitive? Because I need some scholarly too. One scholarly. Ooh, there's some nice adding power. Like that. 
Same with this guy, brings a trait as well. It's probably a little pricey for me. Okay, we got some options. Okay, let's see my team. What we're really trying to do is try to drop some spirited people. So Doug Nerdword, relief pitcher, rounding out the bullpen. So can I trade him for a scholarly or competitive player? Let's see. Relief pitcher. this guy or this competitive yeah oh they're both start a reliever situation let's do it get this chemistry right Doug nerd word okay so that's good one more competitive. I think another spirited for competitive. My team. Another spirited for a competitive. Take someone disciplined as well. There's the closer. I don't think I want to lose discipline because maybe pushing that over the edges. Ian Fielder, super utility. see what I got I need a competitive player so let's see what I'm looking at here there's two options both in the pitching situation hmm oh wait I'm only looking at pitchers damn I was close Okay, we got a catcher first base. Got backup outfielder. This is the utility guy. Yeah, sign this guy for my utility guy. Ian Fielder. Okay, so competitive, level one now, level two. My only question, no, I think that's good. I'm feeling pretty nice about the balance here. It's a heavy on speed, defense, and rotation though. It's not great, but no, what we're going to do is wrap this episode up. Next episode, we deal with the first season. So check that out, and we'll catch you in the next one. I'm your boy Axicus. See you around.